Namaste from Sarva. Welcome to today's session to get the stronger legs. Okay, in this class got great posture to strengthen your leg, strengthen your arms and also strengthen your entire system. So especially in this class we are going to see some squats postures and also some uh, deep stretches and also some asanas. So these all asanas will have to get more strength and flexibility and mobility of the joints so let's start the practice without any further delay take chin mudra upon your thighs with palms facing roof raising the sternum away from the abdomen gently close your eyes with a beautiful smile on your face relax all the tension release all the thoughts from your mind relax your face relax your shoulders Let's do it five breath here. Take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out take one more deep breath in and slowly breathe out now bring your hands together into namaskara start rubbing your palms gently feel the heat in between your palms keep rubbing keep rubbing everybody cup your eyes bring your hands down gently open your eyes look at your palms namaste all so let's start the practice before we begin let's start with the some stretches and also some loosening exercises now we are going to do first one baddha konasana or butterfly so just unfold your legs and feet together okay soles together heels together and big toes with each other here okay so now grab your foot raising the sternum just make it up and down just raising your knees up and down here okay just do it for 10 times keep continue keep pulling your knees down to the floor and feel the sensations feel the opening your hip joints but maintain the smile on your face do not tighten your thighs do not tighten your hips okay keep continue loosen your body hold this posture and keep continue one two three four your mind should focus where you feel having loose okay where you feel having light two and one then slowly relax and release here hold this posture keeping the spine so straight and pulling the kneecap down towards the floor if you find it difficult to pull your kneecaps down towards the floor no problem it's okay but try to pull it down slowly do not hurt yourself but do not push yourself much because there is a people they are having a lot of stiffness on their hips and also thighs so be careful while pushing down mighty will have the catches okay do not put yourself much around so just hold this posture for a while take a deep breath in and exhale slowly bend forward if you can just go more down here and feel the stretch and feel the opening your hip joints if you can come out down here and try to touch your forehead on the floor if you find it difficult if not happening today no problem just drop your hands on the floor here drop your elbows press the palms on the floor look forward and slowly getting the knees down to the floor here and try as much as possible okay just hold this posture for a few seconds fine keep breathe in and out four and focus where you feel having stretch or pain three maintain the gentle smile on your face two breath should be normal and deeply without putting any stress on your face or nostril and one now inhale all the way back and exhale relax here now knees together and hug them nicely here keeping the spine so straight and slowly draw your head towards the chin bone hold to you breathe in and out 
three, two, and one. Then slowly look front here and relax the pose. Now here, bring your hands behind your sit bone. Now let's start with the twisting. So that will help to open up your pelvic region, okay? Separate your foot hip with the distance apart, keeping the spine straight along with the neck and head. From here, inhale and exhale, draw your both knees towards right hand. Twist your lower pelvic region, lower back. So this pose will help to reduce the lower back problems. If somebody is having lower back problem, if you are getting very severe back problem, make it opposite side gently, guys. So you may do this pose, definitely will get instant relaxation, okay? Just twist as, pos as much as possible, okay? Do not lift your sit bone much. Inhale and exhale, twist gently here, look forward and focus on your lumbar area, L4 and L5 reason. Inhale, center and exhale, opposite side. This pose is really good to those who are suffering from slip disc problems, okay? They can do it this pose, they'll get great relief they won't get the pain much okay just keep continue here inhale center and exhale twist as much as you can one more time inhale deeply and exhale hold this posture look over your right shoulder and hold this posture three two breathe in deeply into your abdomen and breathe out and one now inhale slowly come back to the center the same method opposite side then twist look over your left shoulder and hold this posture and focus where you feel having stretch or pain three two and one now inhale come back to the center and as we exhale relax the pose for a while breath should be normal so next we are going to practice standing exercises so that will has to strengthen your cop muscles and hamstring and it has to stretch your quadriceps muscles and hamstring muscles and stretch your glutes muscles and there's a people they are having tilt pelvic okay this pose or these exercises will make them to heal properly okay let's start the practice please everybody all of you stand in the center of the mat separate your foot hip with the distance apart make sure that your foot should with make sure that your foot should be parallel with each other. Just bring your hands next to your thighs. So very simple, what you need to do, just inhale, lift your heels up off the floor. Ensure that your both heels in the same line, okay? And tighten your ankle and tighten your calf muscles and balance. Your concentration techniques will increase your mind power. If you feel like falling, no problem. If you might even fall like this, so no problem, just try it, okay? If you find it difficult, that again, slowly draw your heels down. Relax for a while, again keep continuing here, but you need to hold longer time, at least hold for 10 seconds here, 10. So this will have to strengthen your legs, okay? Nine, be strong, maintain the smile on your face, relax your shoulders, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Then slowly draw your heels down and relax the pose and shake your foot gently and relax it here, okay? So next we are going to practice forward and backward bending. This forward and backward bending is not only helps to increase the flexibility, it also helps to heal your tilt pelvic region. There is a people, they are having like lower arch spine. This is the wrong pose, you need to come it straight here, okay? So let's start, let's work on this. Just place your hands on your lower back here, inhale deeply and exhale slowly, push pelvic front slightly and slowly bend back as much as you can. Inhale, slowly come up. And as you exhale, slowly bend forward. Do not go front and down much. Just hold this. Okay, make sure that your sternum should parallel to the floor. Shift your weight on base of the toes without lifting your heels. Hold. Five. Four, focus on your glutes, on your hamstring muscles and focus, tighten your uh, you know, quadriceps muscles and also focus on your uh, cough muscles and feel the stretch, okay? And feel the stretch on your both legs together. Three, last two breaths here. Two, and one. Now inhale all the way up. And as we exhale, slowly push pelvic front and slightly bend back. Hold this posture 
if you find it difficult to do just to just bend gently here do not go much guys okay and those who are suffering from back problems do not go much and hold this posture just for three seconds three two and one now inhale all the way back exhale relax the pose so next we are going to practice squats or utkatasana so this pose will help to strengthen your quadriceps and hamstring muscles and reduce the fat on your glutes it also works on your pelvic so this will has to strengthen your sexual organs to increase your sperm count okay the quality of the sperm count so you need to work on the pelvic region because when you're doing this pose so this pose will has to strengthen your pelvic and also strengthen your hips your hips region okay let's start here separate your foot hip hip with a distance apart and bring your hands forward inhale deeply and exhale slowly fold your knees hip down as much as you can bring your hands up lengthen your spine stretch your arms upward as much as you can lengthen your spine do not put pressure on your knees okay just go down as much as you can if you can slowly go down come into deep squat position so this will helps to get more stronger legs and also getting more shaper legs hold this posture if you find it difficult you may come little front or little up hold this posture five four do it everybody do not compromise yourself just hold this pose do not cheat yourself hold two i'm looking everybody see 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 one more one more is there see She's, she's not doing correct. Yes, keep continue, ma'am. Keep, keep continue. Keep continue here. Keeping the hands straight. Yes, just two breaths here. Two. And one. Inhale all the way up. And exhale. Bring your hands down. All right. So beautiful. Then slowly relax your legs and release it. So next we are going to practice just three rounds. Vinyasa Surya Namaskar. Because when you do sunya, Vinyasa Surya Namaskar, that will stretch your entire system and make them lean and strong so please all of you come front of a mat bring your feet together take namaskara mudra here now inhale raising your hands up lengthen your spine palms together exhale bend forward into pada hastasana inhale take right leg back exhale left leg back into down of facing dog now inhale plank position Exhale, come into Chaturanga here very slowly and gently here. If not happening today, you may drop the knees, do not drop the chest. Now inhale, offer facing dog, look upward. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. So now here, what you need to do, bring your left foot front in between your palms and exhale, drop your right heel 45 degree angle. Inhale, bring your hands by shoulder level, hold this posture. Breath should be normal and focus where you feel having stretch. And this pose will help to strengthen your left hamstring and quadriceps muscles. Three, two, and one. Then slowly drop the hands on the floor. Inhale, exhale, come into down of facing dog. The same at the opposite side. Inhale, bring your right foot friend. Exhale, left till 45 degree angle. Inhale, bring your hands by shoulder level. Exhale, down, hold this posture. Three two and one then slowly drop the hands on the floor and take left leg forward into padahastasana inhale all the way up come into hasta uttanasana exhale release your hands by the sides second round take namaskar mudra again everybody inhale raising your hands up arms together exhale bend forward into padahastasana Inhale, take right leg back. Exhale, left leg back into downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, come into chaturanga. Keep remember the technique if you find it difficult, okay? Very simple, just drop the knees if you find it difficult to hold. Inhale, upward facing, look upward. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. Great. Now next variation, inhale, bring your left leg front in between your palms. Now slowly come into side warrior and from here turn your left palm facing upward and exhale bend towards right inside. And this pose will help to strengthen your legs again, strengthen your pelvic region, strengthen your sexual organs and reproductive organs. Hold this posture. Three, two, 
and one. Then slowly drop the hands on the floor and take left leg back into downward facing. The same method opposite side. Inhale, bring your right leg front. Exhale, left heel 45 degree angle. Now inhale, come into side warrior first. Turn your right form facing upward. Inhale deeply and exhale slowly bend towards left hand side. Hold this pose. Three, breath should be normal. Go more down as much as you can. Two and one. Then slowly drop the hands on the floor. Take left leg front into Padastasana. Now inhale, Hattavuttanasana. Exhale, Namaskar Mudra. Last one variation, everyone. So inhale, raising your hands, the arms together. Exhale, bend forward into Padastasana. Inhale and exhale, come into downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, Chaturanga here. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, come into downward facing dog. And third variation, bring your left leg front in between your palms. Drop your left heel 45 degree angle. Now in the same position, just bring your hands front. Come into Great Warrior. Hold this pose. Three. Keep smile. Maintain the smile on your face. Two. Focus where you feel having stretch or pain. And one. Drop the hands on the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Come into Downward Facing Dog. The same method opposite side. Inhale. Step your right foot forward. Drop your left hip 45 degree angle. With inhalation, raising your body up. Come into Great Warrior. Hold this posture. Three. Two. And one. Then slowly drop the hands on the floor. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your left leg front into Pada Hastasana. Now inhale, Hasta Uttanasana. Exhale, Namaskar Mudra. And relax. So if you feel tired, you take a moment just to take relaxation for a few seconds until you can start. If you feel thirsty, you may have a sip of water and relax yourself completely. Okay? So next we are going to focus on strengthening postures. So these postures will help to open up your hips, strengthen your pelvics, and also strengthen your leg muscles. So now here, legs little apart. Make sure that your both heels in a line. Turn your foot or turn your toes slightly outward direction. Now what you need to do, just go down here, fold your knees. When you go down, you need to check your alignment. Check your posture alignment. That's very important. When you go down, make sure that your both ankles under the Respect your knees, okay? Hold this posture. This is called Kalyasana. Take Namaskar Mudra. Hold this posture. Pull your kneecap slightly outward direction from in. Hold five. Keep breathing and breathe out. Four. Be strong. Two. And one. Now bring your hands by shoulder level. Inhale. Do not stop the practice, guys. Just hold. Be strong, everyone. Now slowly drop your right palm inside the foot on the mat. Open your left hand over the head. This is called Parshpa Kalyasana, hold this pose. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, slowly come back to the center. In the same method, opposite side. Place your left hand inside the foot on the mat. Open your right hand up over the head. Hold five, four, three, two, and one, now inhale, slowly come back to the center. And as you exhale, raising your hands up, look upward, hold. Be strong, do not come up. Be strong, I hope you feel having little pain and stretch more. Be strong, everybody, just hold for a few seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come up, keep your legs, keeping your legs so straight. Bring your hands by shoulder level. Now slowly draw your hands down and relax yourself. Now here, slightly turn your heels outward. Make sure that your both heels and both toes in a line. Now here, what you need to do, bring your hands by shoulder level first, inhale. And as we exhale, turn your palms facing outward. Further inhalation, lifting your hands up. And exhale, bend forward. Come into Pada Prasarita, Padutasana. Just go down as much as you can. If you are a beginner, just drop the hands like this and lose your spine along with your head. Okay? If you can, 
option two just grab your ankle and balance option three just draw your head on the floor hold this pose five four three two and one inhale come up and as we exhale relax now turn your left foot out and fold your left knee here okay turn your right foot inside make sure that your both heels in a line again and bring your left hand inside the foot on the mat push pelvic front shoulder square the alignment of the posture is really helps to get more benefits do not compromise yourself do not stop the practice yourself you be strong and keep practice continuously okay don't cheat yourself just focus where you feel having stretch now just open your right hand up towards the ceiling hold five look upward four three two and one from here we'll go for deep stretch okay or side squat keep your left leg straight adjust your right hand on the floor and slowly draw your hip down towards the floor keep your left leg so straight and strong this position and take namaskar mudra here hold this posture if not you can drop the hands on the floor if you can hold this pose five four three two and one drop the hands on the floor so draw your left foot toes on the floor turn your right foot out 90 degree and place your right hand inside the foot on the mat shoulder square and look upward hold this posture come into side angle pose five four three two and one then slowly drop the left hand on the floor and draw your sit bone towards your left heel and sit into a side squat pose just hold this posture take namaskar mudra be strong and focus where you feel having stretch or pain five four three two and one now inhale slowly drop the hands on the floor and as we exhale relax the pose here just now slowly bring your feet together now in this position pada hastasana adjust your palms on the floor in front of your foot okay i will show you side view here so adjust your palms in front of your foot shift your weight on base of the toes without lifting your heels and feel the stretch on your hamstring muscles and calf muscles and glutes muscles hold five four three two and one if you can take your hands back here interlock your fingers palm facing out completely here open your hands up hold five four three two and one now slowly place your hands on your lower back inhale slowly come up and exhale relax the pose so final one posture that is called balancing so the first one is called brukshasana fold your right knee and those who can't able to do this pose you may take wall support and do it okay place your right foot over your left inner thigh and close it to your perineum okay bring your hands by shoulder level inhale raising your hands and arms together hold this posture five be strong everybody four three two and one then slowly bring your hands by shoulder level then release your hands and slowly draw your right leg down the same method opposite side very simple just fold your left knee place your foot over your left inner thigh okay balance first do not fold the knees might you will feel like falling like right and left side or might forward and backward it's okay no problem you can take wall support or you need to try to balance turn your palms facing out inhale raising your hands and arms together hold this posture five four three two and one then slowly relax and release here so relax the pose last one posture that is called balancing so that is called uh, natarajasana posture so i will show you side view here bring your feet together and fold your right knee if you are beginner just grab your right ankle with your respective hand open your left hand here and hold this pose and try to fall forward lifting your right knee from the behind if you find it difficult you may just hold like this no problem if you can try to grab properly 
and slowly hold this posture three two and one then slowly relax and release if you feel falling you may hold the wall support or take any support then you may practice it no problem the same method opposite side just fold your left knee here grab your ankle with your respective hand open your right hand friend hold this posture three two and one then slowly relax the pose please everybody sit in the center of the mat sit in any sukhasana position any comfortable position so you may if you find it difficult to sit on floor you may sit on chair after practice if you feel tired you can sit on chair or sofa however and wherever you feel comfortable so now we are going to practice pranayama so pranayama is the most important factor that we need to practice after workout okay after yoga so you need to do pranayama so why we have to do pranayama so pranayama will helps to calm in your mind okay calm in your nervous system and it helps to uh, maintain your balance okay mind and body okay it helps to balancing your body and mind and also soul okay let's start the practice the so first one bhastrika pranayama so before bhastrika i recommend you to do kapalabhati so kapalabhati will helps to this is not a pranayama kapalabhati is the kriya this kriya will helps to cleanse your system and also it helps to shining your forehead shining your entire body so this kapalabhati kriya will also helps to eliminates the bad toxins out from the body and it's give great massage on your internal organs and those who wants to lose weight especially abdomen fat this is the great gift for them so please keep practice regularly do not stop it so now just to sit comfortably place your hands upon your thighs with chin mudra you may take any mudra here or if you don't want to take any mudras no need to take no problem okay just keep your hands upon your thighs keeping the spine straight let's start kapalabhati kriya we'll do only 15 15 15 three round just close your eyes with every exhalation make it forceful when you exhale draw your abdomen inside or sac your belly inside okay inhale natural exhale forceful exhale active exhalation keep continue close your eyes everybody if you feel uh, if you are not understanding my point so please you need to place your left hand on your navel region inhale abdomen like a balloon exhale forcefully and draw your abdomen inside keep continue everyone just close your eyes and keep practice and count yourself for 15 times and relax do not open your eyes and feel the sensations in your body especially you need to feel the changes in your abdomen region do not open your eyes everyone next we are going to practice the same technique okay second time or second round let's start kapalabhati 15 times and relax and release to not open your eyes just feel the changes in the body the same method will go for third round 15 times keep continue and relax everybody feel the changes in the abdomen region
So this kapalabhati kriya will help to keeping your digestive system become more and much more healthier and reduce the fat on your upper upper abdomen region and lower abdomen region. Now slowly and gently you may open your eyes, look forward. So next we are going to practice Bhastrika Pranayama. In the Bhastrika Pranayama we, were, we are going to practice two rounds. The first In first round we have to do 20 stroke or 20 breath or 20 moments and second round the same. Okay, 20 breath or 20 moment or 20 stroke. So let's start. For Bhastrika normal and forceful breath. Okay, just thumb inside make fist. Next to your shoulders, elbow should be close to your body, keeping the sternum away from the abdomen. Do not go front and do not go back. Okay, just keep your spine along with keep your spine straight along with the neck and head and hold this posture. Now from here, let's start Vasrika. What you need to do first, inhale, raising your hands up slowly, stretch your arms up, spread your fingers and exhale forcefully and make fist. Okay. Keep exhalation forcefully. When you exhale faster, it has to eliminate the toxins out from the body. And also it has to activate your brain functions, nervous system. Okay. So let's start the practice here. Inhale up. Close your eyes. Exhale down. Keep continue for 20 times and count yourself. Then relax, drop your hands up on your thighs. Do not open your eyes, guys. Feel the sensations in your body. Feel the changes in your shoulders and arms together. Take a deep breath into your abdomen. And as you exhale, relax into it. Take another deep breath. And as you exhale, relax even more into it. Do not open your eyes. So the same method, take position. Second round, Bhastrika. For Bhastrika, normal and forceful breath for 20 times. Inhale up. Exhale forcefully. Keep continuing. Then relax and release. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, relax your body completely and feel the changes and feel the sensations in your body. With a beautiful smile on your face, feel each and every changes in every part of your body. Just follow my instructions. Just Relax it. Relax your face first. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. Relax your both arms together. Relax your chest region or sternum region. Relax your abdomen region. Relax your trapezius muscles from upward to downward or back muscles. Relax your pelvic region, glutes quadriceps muscles and hamstring muscles. Relax your knee joints or knee caps. Relax your cow muscles. Or relax your shin bone. Relax your ankle joints together and relax your feet. Relax your entire body from toes to head or from head to toes. With a beautiful smile on your face. Bring your hands together into Namaskara. Start rubbing your palms gently, everyone. Feel the heat in between your palms. Cup your eyes. Hold it for a while. Feel the warm sensations on your eyes. 
draw your hands down gently open your eyes look at your palms thank you everybody thank you so much for joining me have a great day take care stay safe stay happy and healthy